Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm back with another Back to Cake Basics episode and I'll be sharing my go-to recipe for a simple vanilla cake. This recipe yields a really tender, moist, absolutely delicious cake that's perfect for all your vanilla cake needs. Let's make it. In my mixing bowl, I have one cup of softened butter and to that I'm going to add in one cup of white granulated sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm going to grab my hand mixer and cream the sugar and the butter together. Next, I'm going to add in six egg whites. You can also use four whole eggs. Pour that right in, grab my mixer, and then mix this all together. Next, I'm going to pour in one cup of milk and give that a quick mix. And now onto the dry ingredients. I have two cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of salt and four teaspoons of baking powder. And then just stir that all together. And I'm going to add my flour into my cake batter. Now today I use pre-sifted flour. If you didn't sift your flour beforehand, make sure to sift it into the batter. I'm going to switch over to my hand whisk now and whisk the flour into the cake batter. Now it's important that you don't over mix the flour. So once you add it into the batter, you wanna be gentle, mix it in just until it's incorporated. If you start over mixing the batter, the glutens in the flour will overdevelop, and then you're going to get a really thick, heavy, and gummy cake texture. That's not what you're going for. And that looks perfect. And now it's time to get this cake batter into the oven. I have mine preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and today I am using three eight-inch cake rounds. This recipe will make three eight-inch rounds to 10-inch rounds, a large jelly roll pan such as a 13 by 17 or 24 cupcakes. And I like to use a kitchen scale to weigh out my cake batter. I had a question in my previous video, how much does the batter weigh? I get about 400 grams per eight inch round. And these cake layers are ready to go into my preheated oven. They're going to bake for about 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. And once you take your cakes out of the oven, you wanna let them cool in the pan for about 10, 15 minutes. And then you could just gently invert them onto a cooling rack and let them cool here completely. And that's it guys for my basic vanilla cake recipe. Make sure to let the layers cool completely before adding your fillings and frostings. And what I love about this recipe is it's the perfect base for any kind of flavor. You can really play around with textures and flavors here. Try raspberry, strawberry, even some Nutella, then add your favorite frosting and you are all set with an amazing cake. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Back to Cake Basics and I'll see you next time.